They are all events of war. Because God used the weapon of war to deal with their uh, rebellion. Every time they rebelled from God, God had to send war. He had to use the Philistines. He had to use the Jebusites. He had to use the Moabites to come after them. So the war is intense. In the time of priest Eli. Because the glory of God is fading from the temple. The anointing of God is no longer there. The signs and wonders are no longer there. The manifestation of the power of God is not in the temple of the priest Eli. You know those days, it was not a matter of having memorized three scriptures in the Bible, and now you brand yourself an apostle. No. You are a real priest if you are to be written in the holy book as a priest. So, by the time Eli was introduced into priesthood, he was a real priest of God. So, in his era, in his era, there were things that made God to turn his back away from them. He, the back of God was turned away from them because of their iniquity, their rebellion, their disobedience, their sin. Their sin made God to turn their back away from them. So as much as the praise was in this temple, as much as the worship was in this temple, as much as the activities were taking place in this temple, something was missing in, this, in the temple activities. And this is what was missing in this temple. This is what was missing in this temple because if the glory of God, if the anointing of God will not be the summation of the gathering of the people of God in the temple, then the temple is not worthy at all. Now listen to me. Every time there was war in the Old Testament, it was summed to be the war of God's. Before any tribe went to war, they had to consult their God. The Israelites, they had to consult their God. The Philistines had to consult their witches and sorcerers, their Jezebels. They had to consult the Jebusites. Each and every tribe had their own gods and they believed whoever was going to emerge victorious in this war, it was going to send the signal of how powerful their God is. So if the Philistines were going to win the war, then the God of the Philistines was titled or was believed to be a powerful God. So the war in the book of First Samuel chapter number 4 is a war that is working against if something is working against you, it means uh, it's not working in your favor. It means they were losing the war. They, they were losing to their enemies. The battle was so intense that they were losing to their enemies. Now remember, the work of the priest was to pray. Eli was to stay in the temple and pray for victory every time they went out for war. I'm still on the Christmas sermon. Just walk with me. So the responsibility of the priest in the temple was to go on the, on the, on the connection with God. Was to connect on the ladder of God. The cosmic rays of God to make sure that God God's anointing and God's grace and God's power will be in the battlefield to make sure that the Israelites will always emerge winners. But on this day, things are not working. The Bible says Eli was sitting on his seat in the seating. 
seeking for the help of God on this day. But the Bible says the Philistines were too powerful. 